Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here again with the uh, Moto X Pure Edition. Uh, Motorola let me get my hands on it once again. And so I just kind of wanted to take it for another tour. I know uh, pre orders are going to be open. And uh, I know some of you are going to be ordering this, and maybe you just wanted another look at it. And also, we're just excited to kind of get our hands on it again. So uh, this is a uh, 5.7 inch Quad HD LCD this time around, 3,000 milliamp hour battery, um, 32 gig storage starting, and a starting price of 399. You have a 21 megapixel camera on the back that Motorola is still really, really excited about. So we can't wait to uh, finally test that. You also have that front camera up there with the flash. Obviously, it's that pure Moto experience still. Uh, stereo speakers, turbocharging, which Motorola claims is about the fastest turbocharging in the business. So uh, I'm just going to kind of buzz around the, uh, the UI a little bit. I know the last time you guys didn't really see me do much of this. Um, you can see everything just kind of flies around. It's uh, mostly stock Android though, so you know, there's just not going to be a lot that uh, is going to be new. Uh, Moto Voice, Moto Display, all that stuff obviously there. Runs an Android 5.1.1 out of the box so far. Um, and yeah, pre-orders now, and uh, we will get uh, the device sometime mid-September. We don't have a specific date on that just yet. But, uh, let's go ahead and launch the camera, just so you guys can kind of see here. So the Moto X take a picture of. So it's pretty fast, and uh, they're saying it's one of the uh, most advanced sensors we've seen in a smartphone. So uh, obviously we want to test that as well. But uh, they say it's a bigger Moto X that's been improved from last year. Well, it's been made bigger, but they improved the camera. Improved the turbocharging, uh, went quad HD display. So, yeah, we're, we're excited to uh, give it another run, give it some real run, I guess I should say, in the full review. So, uh, this is the leather back, and uh, it's kind of tough to pick this up on camera, but there's a nice texture to it that should feel really nice in hand. It reminds me a little bit of the sandstone black, but uh, so there's that. Here is a gray version, which is that sort of soft silicone back, which actually feels, I'm not gonna lie, it might feel better than the leather, actually. It just feels softer to the touch. Here's a black version. Uh, this is black leather, so it's still got that textured sort of feel of that, not exactly a soft, um, although they could wear nicely. Uh, I imagine it's four-wing leather again. And so last year, the Moto X second gen really wore nicely. So then, uh, that could get softer and smoother. Uh, here's a wood back. Uh, you guys have seen these before. Black wood back with the black front. You'll notice this did have the uh, white front. And uh, I was talking to somebody about this. And the white front's always an interesting choice because you can see all of the sensors. Um, if you go with the black, you can't really see anything at all, sort of just blends into one another. Um, and then finally, here's one more wood back. Might as well grab them all while they're right in front of me. So, uh, it's just some of the options. Just, just put another look at the Moto X Pure Edition, which should be here in the U.S. very, very soon. If you have comments, questions, let us know. Peace.